January 1st is just a date on a calendar. It's not a magic date. Start today. Whenever you're listening to this podcast, start today. This is Tools of the Podcast Trade, where you can learn about the tools and resources you can use to start and grow your podcast. Tune in each week as we talk about the help you need to remove the mystery from podcasting so you can become a successful podcaster that can reach your audience where they are. My guest today is Mr. Productivity, Mark Struczewski. Thank you, Mark, for coming and speaking (laughs) with us today. On tools of the podcast trade. Well, thank you for having me here. I, I'm I'm excited to get started and to provide value for your listeners. Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, before we get into what you do, could you tell us who is Mark? Well, I am an only child, and I realized a couple of weeks ago that I am now an orphan because both my parents have passed away, one in 2022 and one in 2023. I am married to my wife for over 20 years. We live in Houston, Texas, and I absolutely love what I do. I am 58 years young, and I have been running at least one mile every day since August 29, 2017. So that's a little bit about me. Oh, thank you. And I appreciate you sharing those, you know, personal little bits and pieces. Um, Yeah, thank you. All right, so let's get into productivity. It seems simple, but it's not, right? Well, it's funny you ask that because I'm a big fan of simplicity. I believe that complexity is a gateway to procrastination. So I have a lot of tips, but I try to make them as simple as possible. Because if I know, I know if I can make a tip simple, Uh More people are going to do it because I know I have a podcast like you do. And I know that people are probably walking the dog, doing the dishes. They're on a bike ride. They're on a plane and they're not going to remember complex ideas. And so I remember that. And I always want to give whatever podcast I'm on, whether it's yours or mine, give people simple ideas that they can remember. And most importantly, that they will do. Okay. All right. So um, in the grand scheme of things, um, productivity sounds like you're telling me to do more, right? Um, Explain that. I mean, am I wrong? It's productivity doing more or something else. I believe productivity is doing the right things that are going to move you towards your goals. So first of all, you got to figure out what your goals are. And I would argue that before you can create goals, you got to find out why you're doing what you're doing. So it starts Mm -hmm. with a why, which leads to your goals. And then once you have your goals in place, then you go, okay, what do I need to do today, tomorrow, this week, next month, whatever, that are going to push me toward those goals? So productivity means different things to different people. And I think that you should focus on reaching your goals. And when you are doing things that are bringing you towards your goals, then you're being productive. So let's say my goal is to make $10 million next year. If I cut my back lawn, is that being productive? No, in my opinion. So what I do is I hire some guy He cuts my lawn, does a much better job than I ever could. And Mm -hmm. so he gets paid doing what he loves to do. And I'm in the house getting paid for what I love to do. That's where I think productivity comes down to it. Okay. All right. Thank you for clarifying that. Um, So then it's, it's the reason why, I mean, this is a show about podcasting. Um, Expert Mm -hmm. thought leaders encourage podcasters to focus on what they're good at, right? Focus on their passion and let somebody else do all the rest, all the other work, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's that, that's why, right? Okay. All right, thank you. Now, I see it here from overwhelmed to clarity. I think that's your personal story. Can you share that with us? Yeah, so in our world today, 
we are so overwhelmed with everything going on. We have the notifications on our phone. We're having all these things going around in our world, whether it's people or the government or whatever it is. And we are becoming more and more overwhelmed yeah. with all these things. And and one of the keys to get out from being overwhelmed is gaining clarity. This goes back to what I just said. You need to figure out what do you want to accomplish this year? And I don't care if you're listening to this in 2024, 2025, 2027, it doesn't matter. Even if it's the middle of the year, you need to stop and think, okay, what do I want to do this year? So let's say someone's listening to this show and it's August 10th of 2024. Well, and you had a really... You didn't do much. You had a really poor year this year. Well, start today and go, okay, how can I finish strong? See, a lot of people, once the year gets started and they go off the rails, they go, oh, I can't do anything until January 1st. It's too late. No, yeah, get clarity yeah. today. Get yeah. clarity today. And don't wait. Too many people are, they look at January 1st is just a date on a calendar. It's not a magic date. Start today. Whenever you're listening right. to this podcast, start today. Yeah, yeah, that makes absolute sense because it's the procrastination, right? We 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 complicate it with this New Year's thing, and that causes us to relax until January first, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now. I was listening to a little teeny bit of your podcast and I caught the term task batching. Can mm. you explain what that is to us, what the benefit is to a podcaster and how context switching, which is the other term you use, helps a podcaster to be more productive? So well, I'm, I'm asking you a lot. <laughs> what it boils down to... Yeah, it's it's okay. We'll we'll unpack it. So, what task batching is is you try to do similar tasks all at once. So, in my mm. instance, like you, I have a podcast. So, I record my podcast. Now, this is not the prep. I've already done the prep. I've already done my show notes. I'm not talking about that. When I do right. my show, I will do my show. And I, unlike you, I don't do interviews anymore. I only do solo episodes, which is just me. So, I will record it. When I'm done recording it, then I upload it to the uh, one site that will actually make the audio sound better. And then I upload it to the company that distributes the software to the uh, episode around the world. And then right. I take the transcript and I run it through Otter AI, get a transcript, and I use ChatGPT to create a readable blog post on my website. Now, okay. all those things all happen around the same time. So I don't do like the podcast and the next day I'll do the transcript. The next day I'll do the blog. I do it all at once. So gotcha. when I start a podcast from the time I hit record till the time I'm done, I want everything done. I don't want, I don't like these things hanging out there. So I try to get everything done and you could yeah. do this and anything. If you're going to create a, a YouTube video, you're going to write a book, you're going to it, the, literally the the list is endless of the possibilities but you take uh -huh. a bunch of tasks that are similar and you do them all at the same time now what context switching is is when you switch from one task to another you have some residue on the first task so uh. you may be working on task b but your mind is still a little bit thinking about task a that's why if you take tasks and they're all similar like creating a podcast episode, you're going to have less ta uh, attention revenue, context revenue, whatever term you want to use, because the tasks are all similar. It's all about your podcast. But right. if you go from creating an episode to scrolling on social media to writing on your book, well, there's going to be more residue there because they're different. But if you're yes. like recording the podcast, then you're going to do this, uh, you know, the transcription, then you can do chat GPT. Now uh -huh. all the tasks are similar. You're still going to have residue, the context residue, but it won't be as great because now the tasks are more similar. Does that make sense? That makes absolute sense. Thank you. And, and what, what you were explaining, the context switching from task to task to task or dissimilar task, I, I see the cartoon character 
rushing from place to place and there's this there's this kind of flame <laughs> following him, right? And I, I'm see, yes. I'm, I don't, I have this strange imagination. So that's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you. Um, these are concepts that we can grasp that can help us to be more productive and to do better work as podcasters and business people. So I appreciate it. So tell us what you do for your clients and how we can get in touch with you. Well, you mentioned, you asked me about clarity earlier, and that's Uh the single thing I do with my clients. My clients come to me because they're overwhelmed. They're like, Uh my life is spinning out of control. I I, I don't know which ends up. And, And so the first call we we go on the journey as you will, as it starts is Uh let's get clarity because most people don't have clarity. They're just putting out fires all day long. And so I, I like to help people gain clarity and the analogy I use, because you use the, the cartoon and the fire after the guy, the, we all have these Apple headphones. Remember the Apple headphones that used to be with the cord and Uh they used to get tangled up. And when you try to yes. untangle them, it's like it gets more tangled. That's what I'm trying to do. And it's it's a process because there's no coach in the world that can just snap their fingers and say, do this one thing and your life is going to be great. It's a journey. It's a process. So what I help people do is untangle their headphones to gain clarity. And before I can actually give them tips, I got to find out where where have they been? Where are they now? And where do they want to go? And uh-huh. here's the thing, Jen. Most people never think about this. They think about, okay, I'm on this podcast right now. They don't think about, okay, how am I going to prepare for the podcast episode? What am I going to do when it comes out? We think about the here and now. And you should be fully present. But yes. if all you're doing is being in the moment, well, do you have a vision? Oh, I have sort of a vision. Okay, are you clear on it? Well, not really. And so... <laughs> whether you're talking about productivity or creating a podcast or writing a book, it comes to cl- comes down to clarity. You've got uh-huh. to get clarity. And I tell you my secret weapon, I have two secret weapons, which I'll tell your listeners that I use for gaining clarity. One is I like writing on my whiteboard. I went out and got myself a whiteboard and there's something about writing your ideas and you seeing your ideas and like, yeah. Wow. Now, if you don't have a whiteboard, you can use a notebook. You can use a piece of paper. When yeah. you take your pen and you write your ideas down, all of a sudden, now your eye sees the words. It sees the uh-huh. sentences. Like, oh, wait a minute. Instead of doing this, why don't I move this over to here? And now, because people try to do it in their head. It doesn't work in your head. Right. You, you've got to do it on paper or on a whiteboard. And that's what I tell people to do. That's my secret to gaining clarity is to write things down. Don't use an app. Don't put it on your notes app on your phone. Write it on a piece of paper. I promise you the clarity will zoom in the focus for you. Yes, that makes absolute sense. I know Russell Brunson is a fan of the whiteboard and uh, I always watch him doing all that stuff on it. Yeah, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for that tip. And which brings me to... Um, can, can you tell us your favorite productivity tools having said right now? App. <laughs> well, it changes all the time because life changes all the time. But right yeah. now I'm telling people we're spending too much time in front of our screens. You need to get up and you need to go outside and okay. you need to go outside and not be on your tech, Jen. I want people to understand. Don't get on your tech. Go outside. Look at the trees. Uh-huh. Uh, breathe in the fresh air. Look at the birds. Listen to the birds. If you do this two to four minutes every hour, you are going to find yourself to be in a different space. Okay. okay. So many people go from one screen to another screen, Zoom to Zoom, Google Meet to Google Meet, podcast Uh to podcast, and we're sitting down looking at these screens. And I'm telling you, give yourself a break and go outside. Now, I get this question all the time. Someone goes, what if I'm on a two-hour training? Do you know what I do? I will actually turn my camera off and I will get off my chair and I will walk around the room. And maybe I'll do some jumping jacks or do some squats. We were not designed 
we were not created to sit behind computers all day. So I yeah. encourage people, whether you're on a training call, a meeting, get up every hour. You can even let the people know if it's a small like group coaching call to say, hey, yeah, you know, as we get toward the top of the hour, I'm going to turn my camera off. I'm still listening. I'm going to be doing moving around the background. You need to do this because yes. it's going to keep your body fresh and it's going to help you be more productive. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. All right. I appreciate you, Mark, um, coming and talking to us today. And oh. Tell us how we can get in touch with you, like your links and how we can connect on social and stuff like that. I'll make it really easy for everybody. Okay. Just go to mrproductivity.com, M-I-S-T-E-R, mrproductivity.com. There you can find out anything you want to know about me, my podcast, my blog, my coaching. Everything is at mrproductivity.com. Okay, thank you. And that's the name of the podcast as well, Mr. Productivity. All right. Okay. Yep. Yep. Thank and you. And I even trademarked. I even trademarked Mr. Productivity because I oh. wanted to be all fancy. Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So before I let you go, give us three tips on how to be more productive while working remotely. I'm sort of a digital nomad, so this one is of interest to me. Okay. Well. I'm going to cheat and use the one I already told you to go outside, walk around at least once every hour. Okay. Number two, don't jam pack your days. Okay. Don't go wall to wall to wall. You need to have right. space where you can maybe go spend some time on social media. Not a lot, but mm -hmm. a few minutes. You need to break it up during the day. Okay. So go outside. Don't pack your day. And number three, be okay with saying no. Be okay to say, you know what? I, I, I can't do any more today. I'm going to move some things around and take the afternoon off. Right. Don't push that rope. So many people think, I got to work through it. Got to work through it. But if you're not in the right state, if you're angry, if you're frustrated, you're overwhelmed, uh -huh. maybe you're, you're not feeling well, then take the day off. It's yeah. okay if you take the day off and take care of yourself. Yeah. All right. Okay. I appreciate you. Uh, any parting shots? You get one shot at this thing called life and it's up to you. It's nobody else's responsibility for you to live your best life. Too many mm -hmm. people are playing the blame game. Too many people saying, well, if so-and-so did this, I would feel better. Look, it's your job. It's your job to take care of your health spiritually, yes. emotionally, physically. It's your job. So stop yes. playing the blame game. Stop criticizing other people and instead focus on how you can live your best life instead of blaming other people. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mark Struszczewski, for coming and talking to us today. I appreciate you. I appreciate you having me on my show, and I hope you and your listeners stay productive and stay positive. Awesome. Need a way to jumpstart your podcast? Do you ever need some traction? You know, sometimes it's not easy starting your own business, and a podcast may be the first thing that appears in your mind when you want to really get your word out there on your business, on whatever idea you're trying to build on. But starting a podcast requires a lot of resources, time, and effort. Now, with the Podcubator Accelerator Pro, this could help you. Now, this is a mentoring program that helps new and aspiring podcasters launch and grow their podcast. So what are you waiting for? Because 90% of podcasters fail after three episodes. Do you know why? Because they don't have the guidance and support. So this is highly recommended that you try the Podcubator Accelerator Pro. Because you get one-on-one -on -one mentoring with a professional podcaster. You get monthly coaching sessions. You get exclusive access to online courses and tutorials. And even a private community of podcasters for networking and support. So what are you waiting for? Because you need to start your podcasting journey today. Hi, this is Jen. I'm really excited about Podcubator Accelerator Pro. So if you're interested, click the link below and book a one-on-one -on -one call with me, or you can fill out the application form to see if you're a great fit. So don't pod fade, get a mentor.